Yes, this is your spiritual guidance reading for September. As you can see, you had a lot of tarot cards fall out for you. But on the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Pentacles. And this is about your future. How you're building for your future. Okay, um, Whether it's emotional or emotional or with growth or even with your thought it's just about what you're carrying into the future what are you building what are you bringing into existence that's going to carry you through okay that's what i get from that so your major arcana card is the hermit okay and the hermit card says to me that uh, you're in an introspective time right now you're thinking about things that you knew to be true but for some reason, you had a big question mark up above them, okay? And you're focusing on how to make yourself better, what it is that you need to change, what it is that spirit is asking you to change, okay? You have focus twice here. Focus, this card focus is about focusing on what it is that you want. Because by focusing on it, you spend time on it, you're nurturing it and bringing it into vision. What it is that you need for yourself. You also have focus on service. It says your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in the consistent stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in the dream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. I just want you to see how beautiful this is up here. I'm such a girl, but look at how look at her wings and look at this unicorn. It's so beautiful. Okay, but anyhow. So focus on service is about focusing on what it is that you do. It's like you want change, but you need to listen to, it's very interesting, divine timing. Listen to divine timing on where you're going or what it is that you're doing with yourself, okay? And in doing that, if you get lost and you don't know what to do or what to see, focus on what it is that you do. Focus on helping others. Focus on your job. Keep your nose to the grindstone. You also have surrender to divine timing. Sometimes timing, dif timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. Exactly. You don't have control over what's happening right now. It's like you're in a transition phase, which you'll see when I read between the worlds for you, which is this card here. Um, you're, you're just in a, in a transitional time, which I can see here with the judgment. I think it's very interesting that you kept pulling Major Arcana cards. And then when I pulled for your spiritual reading, you had almost the same exact spread, okay? So you also have freedom. It says, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And you do. And what this means is, it's not that you hold the power in your hand. It's that you hold for the change in the future I mean but you hold the power in your hand to make the changes if you see that something is not right it's time for you to step out on faith that's what this card says to me okay it's time for you to release yourself from things that no longer are supportive of you especially when the when the universe wants something better and stronger for you okay so for your cards here, I'm just going to read them like this. You have the Ace of Wands, okay? The Ace of Wands is all about an opportunity. You have an opportunity or a turning point coming into your life. And you're optimistic about it because change is good. And all of this is going to be very, very good for you, Sagittarius. You also have the Ace of Pentacles. And that means that you're bringing something more strong into your life. You have an opportunity for something that's going to last. Something that you can build upon. Whether it be shelter. I like to say in this order, shelter, safety, sustenance, money, your own physical body, okay? You also have the judgment. It's about making the right choices of what's better or what's best for you, okay? Um, evaluating the circumstances, evaluating what's happening and transforming yourself, okay? This is the strength. You're going to need strength to get through this, Sagittarius. It's not for the weak.
okay because changes people are afraid of changes but I feel like you can handle it you can tame those demons especially if you know what's coming in the future and this is the justice this is about balance living life with integrity and honesty okay do not be a liar do not be a cheat if you do that it's going to mess up your karma okay very very badly especially with the will of fortune which you'll see here um actually i'm sorry you don't have the will of fortune i'm making that up but <laughs> especially with this being uh, in the universe's hand okay if you mess this up it will not balance in your on, on your um side that's what that's what i'm feeling that's what i'm hearing and i'm also hearing that the will of fortune i feel like the will of fortune is turning and you could stop it okay which will cause an imbalance all right the six of wands if you follow through with what you're supposed to do you will be successful you will see the success that you are supposed to receive so that is very positive for you so let me see um your card is between two worlds and it came up in reverse so your card is about transitions not quite out of one situation and fully engaged in another temporary blindness and no man's land be mindful of your expectations this is not a time for guarantees things will not go exactly as you plan or dictate let go and see what spirit has in store. What takes hold in your life will be better than you can imagine. Thank you, spirit. Okay, Sagittarius, that is your spiritual reading for September. I really hope that this will help you out. Thank you so much for listening. I love you very much. I'll see you next month. Love and love.